Father Vincent Capadano was born on February 13, 1929, in Staten Island, New York, as the tenth child of Italian immigrants Vincent Robert Capodano Sr. and Rachel Basil Capodano. Vincent graduated from Curtis High School in Staten Island, New York, and entered Fordham University. After attending Fordham University for one year in 1949, young Vincent, who was familiar with Marinol, applied and was accepted to enter Marinol Seminary in Austin, New York, in 1949. When Vincent finished his seminary training, he was ordained a priest on June 7, 1958 by the late Francis Cardinal Spellman, Archbishop of New York and military vicar of the United States Military Ordinariate. After ordination, Vincent was assigned to work with the Aborigine Taiwanese in the mountains of Taiwan where he served for seven years, administering the sacraments, teaching native catechists, and distributing food and medicine. While visiting his family during a six-month furlough in the United States, Father Capadano learned that he would not remain in Taiwan. He was assigned to teach English at a Marino school in Hong Kong. After a short time in Hong Kong, Father Capadano requested a new assignment to serve as the United States Navy Chaplain with the United States Marines in Vietnam. Marinol granted his request and he was commissioned a lieutenant in the United States Navy on December 28, 1965. After finishing officer candidate school, Father Capadano reported to the 7th Marines in Vietnam during Holy Week in 1966. As the chaplain for the battalion, his immediate focus was the young enlisted troops, or grunts. Later transferred to a medical unit, Father Capadano was more than a priest ministering within the horrific arena of war. He became a constant companion to the Marines, living, eating, and sleeping in the same conditions as the men. He established libraries, gathered and distributed gifts and organized outreach programs for the local villagers. He spent hours reassuring the weary and disillusioned, consoling the grieving and hearing confessions and instructing converts. Father Vince often distributed St. Christopher medals to his grunts. He told them that St. Christopher would protect them and keep them safe. Such work energized him. When his tour was complete, he requested an extension, served in the Naval Hospital, and then reported to the 5th Marines. He gained a reputation for always being there, for always taking care of his Marines. On September 4, 1967, in the Trang Binh district of Quezon Valley, elements of the 1st Battalion, 5th Marines, found the large North Vietnamese unit, approximately 2,500 men, near the village of Dong Song. Operation Swift was underway. The outnumbered and disorganized Company D was in need of reinforcements. By 9.15 in the morning, 26 Marines were confirmed dead. The situation was in doubt and another company of Marines was committed to the battle. At 9.25 in the morning, the 1st Battalion, 5th Marine Commander requested assistance of two companies of the 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines, M and K Company. During those early hours, Father Capadano received word of the battle taking place. He sat in on the morning briefing at the 3rd Battalion's Combat Operations Center. He took notes and listened to the radio reports coming in. As the elements of companies M and K prepared to load onto the helicopters, Father Vince requested to go with him. His Marines needed him. It's not going to be easy, he stated. As Company M approached the small village of Chao Lam, the North Vietnamese opened up on the 2nd platoon, which was caught on a small knoll out in the open. The fighting was fierce, hand to hand at times and the platoon was in danger of being overrun. 
Father Capadano went among the wounded and dying, giving last rites and taking care of his Marines. Wounded once in the face and suffering another wound that almost severed his hand, Father Capadano moved to help a wounded corpsman only yards from an enemy machine gun. He gave him words of encouragement. Stay calm, Marine. There will be someone soon to help us. God is with us all here today. Father Capadano was killed on September 4, 1967, taking care of one of his men. On December 27, 1968, then Secretary of the Navy Paul Ignatius notified the Capadano family that Father Vincent would posthumously be awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor in recognition for his selfless sacrifice. The official ceremony was held January 7, 1969. On May 21, 2006, 39 years after his death on the battlefield of Vietnam, Father Vincent Capadano was publicly declared Servant of God, the first step towards canonization. Father Capadano's inspiration and dedication to his Marines goes much further. As a 20-year-old corporal quoted in the New York Times September 9, 1967 edition said, Somehow he just seemed to act the way a man of God should act. Father Vincent Capadano exhibits the best that a Marino missionary can offer. In the words of Marino Bishop James Edward Walsh, once a prisoner of the Chinese Communists, the missioner requires a confidence in God, a persevering willingness to spend and be spent as his messenger. <laughs>